we can also take stacks of images and you can look through the body like flipping through pages of a book. But as you can see, this is a little bit tedious. It involves a lot of concentration effort. We can also take these and put them back together so we can get a human being that looks like this. This is different slices of this particular patient's CT scan that has been reassembled and cut in a different way. So even though we cut the patient like a loaf of bread, we can reassemble them digitally and uh, look at them in different ways. A good example of how this is helpful is when we look for polyps in the colon, we can see on the two-dimensional images these little growths that can potentially become cancer in the colon, but then we can reassemble the pixels, we can reassemble digitally the images into three-dimensional figures of the colon. We can see differences between patient A and patient B. We can see how wrinkled and how many protuberances are in the sigmoid colon of patient A, whereas with patient B, the colon's a lot smoother. This patient has constipation, diverticuli of the colon. This patient has diarrhea, where the mucosa has been smoothed out. Uh, we can also get a three-dimensional fly-through movie. This is called CT colonography, which is another way to look for polyps in the colon. And we can look at these in three dimensions and localize exactly where that polyp is for the colonoscopist or surgeon to remove these structures.